What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to another one of my old school RuneScape videos and today guys this video is going to be a beginner's guide to the range and magic skills. Now as you may recognise I am back at the trusty location of the cows which I use to level up my combat levels. Um, I'm going to be killing these cows again as for me personally I feel they are probably the best things to go for as a beginner. Uh, easy to kill, don't really require any food to heal yourself or anything like that. Um, but the main sort of purpose of the video is just to kind of show you guys what equipment you need and what is the best kind of armor for a level one in that certain level. Um, as you can see right now, I'm just currently using the range skill. Um, so, and obviously I'm only level one, just to just to point out, just to prove. Um, so what I've got. I have a leather cowl, uh, which is the helmet that they use, uh, a leather, or a hard leather body actually I should say, and then some leather chaps, um, also some leather van braces as well, why is my guy, ooh I've run out already, <laughs> well that took a lot of bronze arrows to try and kill one cow, um, yeah and then obviously the gold ring, um, not particularly important, it doesn't offer any kind of sort of bonus. Um, now, what you would have just seen there is that I ran out of arrows. So initially I went in using bronze arrows. Uh, now I'm using the iron arrows. I had about 25 bronze arrows roughly. Um, and yeah, they, they went in a flash at level one. I couldn't even kill a cow with 25 of those. Um, so I moved on to the iron arrows. So that's definitely one thing to point out is you need to make sure that you've got a, a high quantity of arrows if you want to stay for a long period of time. Um, you obviously can go around picking up your arrows once you've used them. Uh, majority of them should normally drop, which means that you know they're not going to run out stupidly quick, but they will go. Uh, some guys trying to ask me where I've got my. Um, one second. <laughs> I bought it in the Grand Exchange. Um, yeah, literally just that bit of armor there. I'll show you the bonuses that it offers. So, uh, if I take it all off, uh, so obviously everything's on zero right now. When you pop the cowl on, it's very small bonuses, but that's what you're kind of gonna expect at level one. Uh, so yeah, very sort of limited kind of defense bonuses there. You get the plus one on your range attack bonus, not a lot. Then if you equip the high level body, that gives you a massive boost. You're going up in, well, you're almost hitting plus 20 on the majority of the stats there. Then you're going to sort of go through that barrier when you put the chaps on. Uh, maybe a little bit of a bonus with the van braces. Again, not huge amount. It's going to be similar kind of bonuses to the cow. And then for a bit more attack bonus, you'll want to actually wield your weapon. <laughs> yeah. So my mine is actually just a, a basic short bow right now. The one which I believe I've probably got in the tutorial island. Um, I haven't actually bought one since then. There are much better uh, bows out there that you can get. Short bows, long bows. Um, personally, I do prefer a short bow as the fire rate is a lot higher. So you can, you can fire arrows at a quick speed which therefore should mean you probably kill your opponent a little bit quicker. They may not deal as higher amounts as what the arrows from a longbow would do, but I haven't found in from what I can remember years ago. I always felt that a short bow, the amount extra that a longbow was going to deal per arrow, wasn't sufficient to sort of justify its slower fire rate. If you kind of get what I mean, but um, yeah. So so for me, short bow, but you know. Try out, try out longbow, try out shortbow, um, see what you prefer. It's all personal preference. Um, and you can see down there, I've also got some steel arrows as well. I don't know if I'm actually high enough level to use them. Um, I, I believe it comes down to levels, yeah. So your bow isn't power, powerful enough to use uh, for those arrows. So this is where the, the various bows come in. Um, so yeah, so I've got just a standard bow. When you get to level five, you get, you can, you can get yourself an oak bow, which will then allow you to use the steel arrows. So for now, I can only use my bronze and iron. Um, but that's 
obviously a good thing to have is the steel arrows for <laughs> just sort of magic stuff. Um, it's a good thing to have for in the future um, because you would like to think ideally that your range level should go up fairly quickly. Uh, it wouldn't take long to get to level 5. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basic kind of setup for range. Um, now moving on to the magic, I'm um, probably going to go on this menu again, I think it would be easier to show if I just unequip all that again. Um, magic, there's not as much stuff. Uh, for a non-member there aren't particularly great kind of armour that you can wear to give yourself much of a defensive bonus. Um, it's more just sort of offensive really. Um, so the staff is, there's not a certain one that you have to go for. Um, there are different ones. So I've got the Staff of Air. Um, there's a Staff of Water, Staff of Fire, Staff of Earth. Um, I don't think I've missed any out. There's, there's a, like a basic staff and a basic uh, magic staff, but they're not uh, particularly great um, for the reason that I'm just about to point out. And that being because I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one of the previous videos uh, when I was talking about the rune crafting, but with a Staff of Air, having that equipped if I just show it on here, you can see, um, I can't sort of move the mouse to it because it will go off of here, but you can see where it says level 1 wind strike, uh, it has the picture of the air rune and it's, it has a little asterisk, so basically it means like infinite out of 1 um, that you need to cast that particular spell, so with the staff of air you have infinite air runes basically. Um, and obviously you get the idea that with a staff of fire you're going to have infinite fire runes and so on and so on with the various different elemental staffs. Um, with the basic staff and the magic staff, because they aren't directly linked to a certain element, they don't give you infinite runes uh, of any kind unfortunately. So um, I haven't really looked into the sort of actual stats, but they, possibly the, the uh, magic staff might deal a little bit higher damage but for me personally I would prioritize uh, sort of being able to you know not have to use the runes as that's kind of the most difficult thing to get hold of either in terms of cost or in terms of time to make them or find them um, so I I like to have a staff that can eliminate the factor of needing runes in some cases on certain spells um, so for me right now being level 1, I can only cast the uh, Wind Strike spell. You know, level 3, level 4. The next one's going to be level 5 for me. There's going to be an actual sort of, uh, spell that's going to deal damage on the Water Strike. But again, look, you need air runes. So I'm just going to stick with the air, uh, Staff of Air for, for a bit. Um, you can't really go wrong with it. You need air runes for the majority of spells. So having infinite air runes is definitely a big, big help. Um, but yeah, in terms of like the actual armor, so you can get a blue wizard robe, which will increase your attack. Does it even increase your defense? I mean, yeah, it does ever so slightly, but like I said, I mean, it's, it's not brilliant. You know, the, the defensive bonuses of the, of the uh, magic skill for a non-member are fairly poor. Um, but, you know, you just have to kind of deal with what you get really there. Um, also, a blue wizard hat. Um, again, it's only knocked on an extra two uh, for defensive bonuses, so not really brilliant, but it's what you got to work with, really. Um, the final bit is it doesn't really help at all. Um, you don't need it. It cost about, I think it's probably only about, I don't know, possibly, I think it's pretty cheap, this uh, this final item. I just want to double check, actually, what, it, what it's class and grand change there. 87 uh, coins, so very, very cheap. It's just a blue skirt. Um, I, I personally, I'm only going to wear it just because I think it almost sort of completes the set. <laughs> um, it just kind of makes your guy look a little bit better. Um, it is a skirt, but um, but yeah, it just kind of completes the outfit really. Um, but it doesn't actually offer any kind of uh, sort of increase or decrease in any stat area. Um, you see, literally none of the stats are changing, so it's not going to do anything for you in that sense. But if you want to look a little bit well you know you might think you look better with it some people might prefer it without so whatever you think looks best um, you can go for it if you like um, you obviously you don't need any arrows um, you can't don't believe you can wear a shield possibly you can it looks like you probably can because he's got a free hand um, but I 
I've not got a shield on me. Um, so yeah, you can always try with a shield if need be for a bit of defensive bonus. But um, there's not a specific kind of magic shield. It's going to be like a melee shield, so it's it's not going to be brilliant. Um, then in the like the glove and boots department, I mean, there's not brilliant options for a non-member. You're looking at probably just like leather gloves, leather boots, or possibly some various different boots from various like events and stuff. But again, with those like like the skirt, they're going to be more sort of aesthetic improvements, not necessarily uh, improvements to the actual skill. Uh, again, same with the cape. Just they don't really help too much. Uh, amulets, there are specific amulets that you can get, um, there is a amulet of magic which is obtainable uh, via the Grand Exchange which is probably a couple thousand coins I would say, that would be my kind of estimate. It's not something that you really need as a beginner, it's more like if you're looking to be sort of trying to kill a few, uh, few monsters that are going to be a little bit higher level, if you're a bit more advanced and you know what you're doing with the skill. but. Just as a basic starting point, this is all you're going to really need. Um, as you can see as well in my inventory, I've got the various rooms. These are the only ones that I've either been given right at the start or I found. Or as you can see, I've got some of the air rooms which I made. Not that they're pretty much irrelevant right now. Um, but yeah, and then what, what you want to do is once you've got the staff equipped, uh, if you press on this one, I would say it's probably the best one, and then. Basically, what it does is it allows you to select a specific spell. Um, so if you just keep that on, and then you can see it, it goes there, the spell, and then every time you attack one of the cows, your guy will keep on using that spell until you run out of runes. So in my case, it's going to be as soon as I run out of his mind runes, so not very long. Um, but just for the purpose of the video, this is what I really need. Um, if you were to keep it on one of these ones here, uh, the way to actually attack would be to press manually on the spell and then click on the creature or once that you're attacking but every time you want to attack you then have to keep pressing on the spell press on the cow every single time and you know it, it, begins, it becomes a bit of a chore and it it's just not the most efficient way to go about it it, it becomes very difficult um, so yeah for sure I would recommend just popping that straight on. Um, the reason that one has the shield is because it's a slightly more defensive option. That's just the all-out offense with your spell equipped, um, which you know you, you can go for. Personally, I like to have that little bit of extra defense just purely because of the uh, sort of defensive attributes that the robes are giving you, which is obviously very low. So I like to have that little bit of a defensive edge. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys really you, you just want to literally just keep attacking cows in around here uh burying the bones get your prayer level up you can collect the cow hides if you like that's what i'm going to do um it'd be advisable obviously if you're gonna obviously i've got like range and magic stuff on me right now um i wouldn't i wouldn't sort of uh have it all on you in one go i would let me just pop some rapid sorry um <laughs> Yeah, I, I would say just pick one of the skills, just keep training and training and training, do that one skill, then move on to another, um, just so that you have a little bit more inventory space for the cow hides, and then each trip is a bit more sort of worthwhile. Um, yeah, you get a bit more sort of money if you're gonna sell the cow hides, or a bit more resources if you're gonna use the cow hides um, for, for the future, basically. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's just really my way of kind of showing you the basic beginner's guide to these uh, to these two skills. Just to go with the combat ones, which I've mentioned in previous videos. You can see I've already trained them up. It's going to be the next step for me, sort of getting these two up to a similar kind of level. Um, as you can see, I did sort of get my runecrafting level up, possibly one or two more levels um, from the previous runecrafting video, uh, and also. I have actually, I'm going to show you my bank actually, I've, I've done a bit of mining, I've mined a few more uh, rune essence in preparation to get my runecraft level up so that I can show you guys uh, a, little, a little bit more about where some of the various altars are to craft some of the various runes. Um, and that's why my mining level was sort of, you know, rocketed a lot. I think it was, I think it was only like level 14 actually before, so it's got like 10 levels which is 
was really good. It's it's allowed me to unlock the ability to sort of mine a few different ores, a few different higher level, more valuable ores that I can use for various different things. But yeah, right there, 954 rune essence, which is going to be a lot, <laughs> a lot of trips. Um, bearing in mind, it's like 28 per inventory. Um, so yeah, you can do the maths. Um, it's just a lot. It's it's a lot of trips. Um, took a bit of time, but it's going to be worth it. You know, I, I can use these in the next videos and yeah, basically get my Runecraft level to show you guys. But that's pretty much it. Just to clarify the location as well, just down here, the usual south of Falador. But yeah, that's it, guys. Really. Uh, hopefully, you found that video useful um, as a decent sort of start a guide for your range and magic skills uh, if you did find it useful then feel, to, feel free to drop a like on the video and if you want to see some follow up videos for some better monsters to kill uh, better equipment to use when you do get your level up and a sort of guide of which is the best to use there'll be a few different equipment uh, types of equipment that you can obtain uh, which is my personal favorites to go for um, then yeah obviously you can subscribe to my channel and I'll have a few more videos on these various skills that can help you out uh, but yeah that's it so thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day